Moving like the speed of sound He can keep on the ground Hello girls, guys and gamers, it's Nikki Lee here and we're back to playing Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. Um, this is only going to be a single episode weekend unfortunately, mainly because YouTube has been an absolute giant douche. Pretty much I started uploading an episode yesterday, it should be uploaded hopefully maybe an hour to two hours time. That's from when I'm actually doing this, which is 4pm, like local UK time. Um, and I've been uploading it since 8 p.m. last night. So yeah, YouTube, get your act together. I've been, I've been trying to do some work stuff around you, but it's just such an absolute giant mess at the moment. So yeah, fix that, and I'll be ha very thankful. So yeah, back to Broken Sword. We, what did we do last episode? I can't even remember. And that's what we've got here. Oh, Nico stole the um, the jewel, um, Pilgrim's jewel. So yeah, we got that. So that's pretty cool. She's done some like cat burglar thing through the museum. So we have that now. No shit, we're the jewel. She stole a tripod, and we've come across to this weird old place where we're juggling. What this dude is? I think he's a police officer. What are you doing, George? What are you doing? Um, let's talk to this guy first. Let's see what he's saying. Excuse me, officer. Your forehead is a lot smaller there than it is there, mate. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous is side of Rome. Mm -hmm, that is. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the social sauvignon. Which one you do? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. Oh, I absolutely love the dialogue in this game. What do you know about the Knights Templar? The Templar. Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozen within this very square. Wow. What they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. I don't think we can ask him. Actually, let's ask him about Khan. He's a police officer, after all. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is he? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh! Is that all you can say? Oh! I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac. But it didn't seem polite. <laughs> okay. Um. So we've got kind of like an... I'll see you around. I don't know what we'll to say about him. I'll be there. He's an off-duty, on-duty police officer. <laughs> Um let's talk let's talk to the mime. Hey, you with the balls. <laughs> Talking to me? We Why you got some funky actual face paint going on there, mate. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No! I am a jongleur! A jongler? What's that? <laughs> A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aeroballetic pistols. In centuries past, the courts of the crowned of Europe had the jongleurs, witty, erudite men, to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait. A minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders. Plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jungle to throw his <laughs> I think so. Ah, oh, George, you're an absolute legend. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does not. Does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better. No, no I can't. I'm. I am rubbish at juggling. Jungler. No idea what I was doing. 
But this guy was obviously an idiot. So how difficult would <laughs> it be? <laughs> a lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. I can juggle like two balls. That's oh, you look at man. Grr. Whoa! Look how big that person's fist was. It was huge. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Um, can we talk to the family? That's a lot. Why give me the option then? Hi again. We? What is it this time? Yeah, there's option of the Templars, which I think it's do. On an island in the Shin in 1314. Wow. You're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on the <laughs> board over there. These plaques are amazing. They give so much information. Okay. Um. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Uh, uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, who are you? Hello. I ask you a few questions? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. Well, this is a very common voice. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of memory, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. This is so long ago. Okay. How long have you worked here? Hardly worked, monsieur. This is a coin. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. That's a brilliant name. My name is Flambert. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church then. Just a little. <laughs> Do you digress? You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, I beg your pardon? Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. Um. Oh, we should have asked the juggler dude about the, the nose. Sorry, mate. Congrats Goodbye. Au revoir, monsieur. How did I not pick up on it? Let's go back out. Juggler dude. So he's got he's got a red nose as well. Hi again. We? Oui? What is it this time? Look, a red nose. Boom. Ah, you are a clown. A clown? No. If so, you would be a much better shot. Look. <laughs> For a moment, an idea capered around near the spotlight of my attention, but fell down the pothole of abstraction before I could focus on it. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Is that all? Hmm. I couldn't open it with my bare hands. Okay, we do have something for this. Give me that. Oop, nope. No. Thank you. Very well. Oh yeah. What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone. Now. Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. Okay, cave that guy's head in. George, over here. Go. Go. Keep it. Yeah. Get out. Now, kill him. Hello again. Hello again, monsieur. Do you know what this is? It's a sewer key. Mm-hmm. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Ah, you are a clown. Do I look like a clown? No. Although you juggle like one. <laughs> now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing. And not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Who ever heard of a plain clothes clown? He had a point. 
So you're saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic loon. We oui, must you had it. Is that a plot development? Okay. I'll see you around. We oui, must you. I'll be there. Yeah, stop me going to the sewers for some apparent reason. Um, matey. Hi again. I'm oh, juggled again. With the red nose on. What is it this time? I'd like to have another try at juggling. Bonus. Please. You have gone on a press course, but no. I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, Monsieur. Okay, now for my secret weapon. The juggler was speechless with rage. I don't could have mistaken him for a mind. All of these are very happy, Without apart from that dude there. And left in a fury. We beat the bloody jongleur. Oh. Hey! You forgot one of your balls! Hey! But he didn't hear. Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. <gasps> Ooh! I don't think we can go down the sewers as of yet because this bloody family's still here, so let's have a look in it. And we kind of just ignore this guy. I don't think he's going to really spark out any real good conversation with any clues. He's a man of the faith. He's going to have another to do with... Yeah, they have kind of something to do with the actual Templars, but I don't think this guy himself perfectly would. Let's have a look in there. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Okay. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. Okay. I could see that what had at first seemed to be a fine engraved chasing on the scroll was actually writing. Her disciplinum meum lux fidevis. Sounds pretty familiar to me. Yeah. We know that. Why do we know that? 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 Dude. You're... you supposed to know Latin. I, I swear you know Latin. Hello again, Father. Bonjour, Monsieur. How pleasant to speak to you again. You must be proud to have such an incredible collection of stained glass. Pride is a sin, monsieur, but it is hard not to marvel when the light shines through them. It is a fine example of the artisan's genius. Do you speak Latin? You ask this of a priest? Okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux fidevis means? Let me see. That would be... Uh, by my teachings, you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I. We thought. have heard that before. Where? Hmm. Maybe not. Catch you later. Au revoir, Monsieur. On the manuscript. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. George pointed out to Nico that that's what I meant because he studied Latin in law school. So he should have known that. He should have known that. Unless he was just clarifying with the actual person of the faith here. Okay, what can we do here? A bit of a stained glass window. Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. 
Okay. Somehow it looked more modern than its neighbor. Alright, let's. Nope, put it away, George, put it away. Um, let's have a quick run and I'll see if these people outside are gone. If they are, we're going to go down to the sewers themselves and have a quick little peek around there. Nope, okay, I'm just hoping they don't really notice me going in here. So <laughs> we'll find out. So, guys and gals, we're going to have a quick poke in here. They don't really care at all. Just watching me go down this way. Sewer. Alright, can we... If I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. If the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. Um, Stop for me, George. It's quite simple. Run. Long beam here. Run, run, run. Jump. You're across. Simple. Uh, we'll find a way around and come across that little path there and then you're here but I think you kind of want to go there and across that path there so that kind of eliminates that so I apologise let's have a quick peek around this corner <gasps> Ooh, this is the area this with those the hangman thingies okay I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it there for this episode, guys. Things are actually unraveling quite well now. We're in underground in some funky sewers yet again. George seems to be just strolling around in the sewers of France for some apparent reason. The first of all was by the cafe, now he's underneath the place where majority, I think it's all of them. All the templates pretty much got killed off. And yeah, God knows what's going on now. Seriously, I have no idea what's going on. Um, but yeah, next time, it's going to be next week. I, like I said, I apologize for it only being a single episode weekend. I'm not, I'm hoping this actually goes up before today. It, but I'm not too sure YouTube being YouTube. It could be kind of a late one, but it should hopefully be up by the end of today. But thank you for watching everyone and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.